Friday the 8th of February. King George the 7th died peacefully in his sleep, and his elder daughter Elizabeth succeeded to the throne in, at the age of 25. And she'll, still she's the Queen 54 years later. Maybe she'll beat Queen Victoria for the world... for the longest reigning monarch. We had a little scattering of snow this morning, but, it, but luckily it didn't settle. So Marcus didn't throw lots of snowballs at the front gate, or chuck them down my back like he does quite a few times. Saturday the 9th of February. In 1567, Mary Queen of Scots conspired in the murder of her husband, Lord Darnley, who died after an explosion. Mary was so devious. Nothing like that seems to happen to the royal family these days. <laughs> Hooray for them! I'm not going to mention anything about my piano lessons again unless it didn't happen or something interesting happens. Because I'm... It's a little boring for me having to write about them all the time. Sunday the 10th of February. A proposed tunnel link linking England and France was approved in 1930. For some reason, they must have an allergy to urgency in those days. Half a century later, and they finally started digging. Just as we were about to leave at 2.14pm, Dad suddenly turned around and gave me and Sophia a large lecture about being on our best behaviour for Great Grand's... Um, it was a hundredth birthday party. I wish I could say the same about his... Reckless driving. He needn't have bothered. Anyway, half an hour or so into the party, and I was on the windowsill reading my book, and Uncle Anton's people carrier turned up with Auntie Phil, Auntie Christina, um, and Cousin Isabella, and Jack, his three year old golden retriever. When Gran let them in, the Gran went bizarre and and just said, You know that dog, that dog will chase after any cat you'll find. And of course, the, as soon as Jack saw Tom, Great Gran's cat, of course he went bizarre and started chasing it into the kitchen and all the way upstairs, meaning Cousin Isabella, Auntie Phil, Dad and Sophia were all on the floor with all the food. Except Mum saved the cake. I said she, she should have been in the circus instead of being a self-employed cook. <laughs> and I um, couldn't resist filming this all on my own camera. Monday the 11th of February. Thomas Edison was born on this day in 1847. He registered nearly 11,000 patients, at one, the last one at the age of 83. He famously said, Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. It's an odd thing to say. I'm inspired more than I sweat. If Edison would still be around, I would have to ask his opinion. There's a lot of money in this invention business. To put my thinking cap on and decide what needs inventing. By 3:32 p.m., I was in the co-op with. I bought a puppy lovesick Valentine and a box of Thornton's first. Or finest. I put a cross on the card and sealed it and wrapped up the chocolates, just in case I'm lucky enough to get anything on Thursday. Tuesday the 12th of February All Broadway theatres in New York City were closed to save coal for the American war effort in 1918. Four years later to the day, George Jessman's famous Rhapsody in Blue was premiered to rapturous applause in the same city. Didn't know that. What I did know is they did the same in the Second World War. Perhaps this was a case of a lesson learnt, forgotten, and then remember to learn again. 
I would not have liked to live there during those four years. No way. I saw Topsy chewing off the corner of my bed. Puppies. I'm so longing for her to grow up. Wednesday the 13th of February. The beautiful German city of Dresden was bought was bombed by the RAF in 1945. Remember great aunt Joyce had some had some china which she says was Dresden. God, I'd hate to think what was broken in the raids. Oh, what a waste. I made sure the card and the chocolate were slipped into my bag for tomorrow. Thursday the 14th of February Valentine's Day is a very romantic occasion but there was no love lost for two rival Chicago gangs who were massacred in the bit of fighting. Perhaps I didn't know it was Valentine's Day otherwise it might have been a dangerous outbreak of hugging and kissing. During the morning break, Marcus was running around asking every attractive girl who had sent out his Valentine's card. All through the rest of the day as well. As the bell went off, I ran into James, asked him if he got anything. He said no, and neither did I. But he did say, looks like Marcus has got a secret admirer. <laughs> <laughs> I was right a month ago today. I didn't get anything, but so, uh, they were all for Sophia.